Welcome to the November 2020 Drinks with Darren. We are back in somewhat of a lockdown mode here at our new house with the new baby and all. As you can likely see all around me, this house is a mess. We are getting new windows this week installed. So there are installers and demo people absolutely everywhere. What a great time to film Drinks with Darren, right? Now, before we get into the fun stuff, you need to know about this beer. This month's feature and one of my absolute favorites, it is called called Dark Matter by Hoyne Brewing Company, located in Victoria, BC. Dark Matter is the only beer Hoyne makes where they don't say on the bottle what the style is. And that's for a very good reason. Even they don't know. It is more easily described by what it isn't. It's not roasted as a stout, nor is it sweet or high in alcohol as a porter. And don't even mention brown ale in the same breath. As per their website, like the Northern Lights, it is seductively elusive, bringing the mystery of the universe into your glass. Sounds delicious, right? Yeah. That's because it is, and it's in one of my top three beers of all time. So cheers to Hoyne and the incredible dark matter beer. Okay, so here we go. So all this window work got me thinking. So many of you call and ask, what are the best renovations for your home? And what gets the biggest bang for your buck when selling? While we aren't selling our home, we just bought it a few months back in the summer. There are two great reasons to reno or update your home. Number one reason is to sell, to get it into a condition that will help facilitate a sale, increase its value and or make it even easier with less hassle to make the sale happen. And the second reason, it makes you smile. Many renos people choose to do will not recoup 100% of the costs associated with the project. In fact, most will not. There is something to be said, however, about renovations that improve your quality of life or make your home more enjoyable. While there are many lists out there on the returns and percentages of money that are recouped when doing a renovation, it is confusing how someone might arrive at these numbers. Saying things like new kitchen or new bathrooms will garner 75% return on investment. There really is no clear way of measuring this. So I'm gonna give it to you from the eyes of a buyer combined with a realtor, myself, who has sold hundreds of homes and been in thousands. It is worth mentioning, I have never been a huge fan of spending money in the hopes of getting it back on a home renovation for my clients. But in some instances, it does make sense. When making a renovation decision, you could also consider taking time frames into account, making decisions on how long you plan to continue on at your current location and make the decision based on that. Renovations you may consider doing for yourself because your intention is to stay are things like the kitchen, doing the bathrooms, doing the windows, or doing the doors. Upgrades or renovations that tend to move the needle when buyers are looking at homes are things like the roof, replacing it, new floors, new paint. Actually, in fact, new floors and paint are likely the cheapest upgrades someone can do to improve their home. One of the best ways to consider what to do in your home to maximize return on investment, especially for sale purposes, think consistency. A home that is not consistent in its presentation confuses buyers. This means a home that may have something that negatively sticks out, like a huge stain on the carpet or rooms of all all different colors really take away from the experience and impression of a purchaser. In the same token, when someone replaces something in a room but leaves the remainder of the items, think replacing a vanity in a bathroom but leaving the floor, the tub, the light fixtures, everything else is original, it really just moves the attention from the new item to the items not done. Consistency in a home's presentation is what helps a buyer determine if it is a right fit for them. While every home is different and it's always important to take an individual look at your own home, assess your plans and get the right advice to avoid spending money unnecessarily. So now that you are all caught up on returns, on renovations, let's get into the stats for the month of October. But first, one more taste of this delicious Ale of the Gods, created by Hoyne Brewing. 
In the Fraser Valley last month, we saw apartments see a slight decrease of 0.62% from their current bet March values over the last year, an impressive fulfilling increase of 4.23%. Condos have been the laggard in the market for the past few months, which leads us to the performance of townhomes. Just starting to seemingly ramp up in activity, townhomes across the Fraser Valley saw a modest increase of 1.09% in the last three months, with a 5.04% increase year over year, leaving us now with detached homes, the clear accelerant for value increases and sales that you hear all about on the news. We saw a whopping 3.8% increase in the last three months and an enormous gain of nearly 10% at 9.91 year over year in the Fraser Valley. Absolutely incredible. Now, if you have any questions about how your individual home has performed or the current market value of your home, as always, feel free to shoot us an email and we are happy to look into it for you. That's all for Drinks with Darren for this month. Be sure to stay tuned to our Facebook channel over the next few weeks for some really cool announcements. I miss seeing you all. I hope that you and yours are all safe, healthy, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you in person again soon. Take care of each other. Until next time.